Hey everyone, this is Wade from FishFinderMounts.com and FlowTube Fanatics, and I've got the Ray Marine Dragonfly 5 DVS on the Super Fat Cat LCS float tube. You can see me kicking along in the water here, and uh, it's got our we got our U3 mount on here. That's a 5 amp hour battery built right into the mount. Uh, runs this fish finder. It's been running it all day for me. It's been fabulous, and you've got your transducer mount here on the side so this mounting kit from us from fishfindermounts.com gives you everything you need to mount and power the Raymarine 5 DVS on your float tube you can actually tilt it up out of the water lock her in keep it up out of the water when you're launching and you're beaching your float tube to keep it out of harm's way keep your transducer out of harm's way and then you can just let her drop back down in like you just seen there and then just lock up the nut again boom tighten her up she's all back in the water and uh, the readings are coming back on just to the edge of the screen there because we had the transducer up out of the water so she's just trying to track it here we'll get her back on going again so there she goes and I want to say I've really enjoyed this unit today I'm um, using it for the first time um, it's got some really cool features like the Laurent stuff just for power saving um, you know you've dialed into the fish and you're catching lots of fish so if you want to just kind of keep your transducer pinging the bottom you don't want to have to go through the startup mode which takes about a minute or two you can just hit the power button it has a power save mode so you can go down select the power save mode there and then just hit OK and it'll put it in this state where the screen goes basically blank or off you can kind of faintly see something going on there actually it's Laurent's will go right dead and I'll just have the logo but this Ray Marine it's I can kind of see that there's something kind of faintly there but if I hit this OK button boom she comes right back on just as though it was never off just like that and so um, yeah it's, it's 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 pretty cool it's been been a good little finder for the day and then um, all the feature sets that you can change here you can change what kind of uh, vision you want you could have split vision here um, you can change how that split vision looks by going into your settings um, and then going OK and working through the sonar setup and uh, you can reset the sonar even if you want all sounder settings will be reset, are you sure? No, we do not want to do that right now because I've taken time to set it all up already. So we'll go back to the sonar. We will, we'll go split view here. And you can see both the down vision sonar or down, yeah, the down vision sonar is what they're calling it. And then this is the traditional sonar. You can see that there's fish here. Um, looks like there's fish right down on the bottom here at 18 feet. It's 18.5 feet up here. And then you can see little arches here kind of happening. Um, and you can kind of see, you can validate that on your down vision by seeing the little flex here. So right away, right away I'm seeing that there's fish right on the bottom of the finder. And it is very like well done. Um, the arches are well formed, so the, the finder is definitely de high definition. It's picking up things very well. We picked this uh, unit up for 264 or 260 something dollars USD off Defender Industries. That was the cheapest price I could find on the web, and uh, those guys have treated me really well. Actually, I got an out of box failure on the first unit I ordered. Um, but don't let that deter you from getting these units. Plus, I talked to Ray Marine. These guys supported me. They got me another one in about three days flat. Um, and they took the other one back, no problem. And the lady on the phone with uh, Ray Marine, her name was Lynn, I believe. She was uh, just fabulous at just helping out and, you know, like get, getting everything taken care of. And Defender was very responsive as, as, responsive as well. So don't hesitate to pick up from those those uh, two companies uh, uh, good experiences there and uh, so you can zoom in to each one of the sonar uh, you can zoom out and zoom in to see what's going on if you like you can see it zooming in using the plus and negative buttons and uh, 
when you want to go into the settings of the unit, you hit OK, and you can you can fiddle around with your your sensitivities and your range, your display options. You can change the colors in here. I've got it all set up, so I don't want to go around changing everything. But the menu is fairly intuitive. It's uh, fairly easy to use. Um, I don't think it'll scare anyone that's used used um, smartphones or computers. And even if you haven't, it's still fairly uh, intuitive and easy to use. And uh, I was saying before, they've got this sort of like ram ball set up the way they've done it, so you can, you know, like swivel it around all over the place. It's like ram balls allow you to do that. Um, so. <laughs> It's now it's all floppy here. I'll tighten it up a little bit so get it set up the way we want it. And then of course our mount here can take that and swivel it this way a lot more, however you like it. Um, the same our mounts act the same on boats. So if you're on a boat and you're further away, you know you, that that's a very handy feature. So yeah, I've been really happy with with the unit, and then it's got the one plug-in on the back. It does both the power cable and the transducer all in one. Here you can see the two cables coming out of it, right here. Um, so uh, I kind of like it where they have a separate power cable and transducer cable because if you need to replace your transducer, uh, maybe you busted it on your boat going over something really hard, um, then you can by uh, just buying the transducer uh, itself because the power cable is separate. However, um, in this case, the power cable is integrated into the transducer cable. So uh, yeah, really good uh, build quality. Actually, I flipped over my float tube at the on the dock there coming into the lake here today. Um, by accident, the dock is kind of rickety and flippy, floppy, and I, I sort of I, I wanted to inflate my tube up more, so I got brought it back out of the water and walked down the dock, and it flipped my float tube into the water, knocked it upside down, and the whole unit got suspended under the water with our mount under the water, and uh, so I was a little bit apprehensive about what was going to happen with this brand new Ray Marine here, and. Uh, Dragonfly 5 DVS and sure enough I just took it out of the water and um, just kind of actually I switched it back in the water I submerged it again and switched it around to clean it up because there's muck that had already had been planted implanted itself in and all the gaps here and it cleaned out nicely I kept the little screen on the little screen protector on and uh, fired it back on and boom she came back on right away no problem at all so uh, Looks looks like they've got some good durability to them as well, not just good looks, but uh, good quality and good durability, as I was saying. And so there, you have it, the uh, Ray Marine Dragonfly 5 DVS on our float tube fish finder mount, the, called the U3. It's got a five amp hour battery integrated right inside of here. It gives you enough power to run this unit all day long. I've been using it all day long. We got up here um, around noon and the sun's going down. So, you know, it's getting, it's getting close to the seven-ish hour mark here. So it's been running solid all day since then. And um, I don't expect that to change. I'll be able to get into the night here if I want to with this. Um, I should also say too is you can control the brightness settings. This is plenty bright enough this this screen. Um, we'll just hit this to get out of the menu system. Whenever you hit this back arrow it gets you out. But if you hit this power button it'll get you into the brightness and then you can actually alter the brightness just by hitting oops. Um, I'll go back there again. Just by hitting the right and left buttons it's moving the little the little orange so I've got it set to about 65% and that's bright enough on a really nice bright sunny day. So this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com. You can call us at 1-855-784-3474 to get your perfect fish finder mounting solutions from fishfindermounts.com. And uh, you'll love the convenience our mounting systems provide, just like this one on my Super Fat Cat LCS, because it allows you to concentrate on fishing and not having to fiddle fiddle around with little bungee cords and straps and everything. It's just all everything's on one strap. 
the same strap mounts everything. You can see again the Ray Marine Dragonfly 5 DVS, seven and a half inches long uh, transducer here, nicely mounted on the side of the Super Fat Cat LCS float tube here, like the Fish Cat 4 but bigger. Um, just more buoyant, more roomy, and then of course the mounting system right here with the Dragonfly 5 DVS. And we got this, like this is actually getting into the range of um, like the Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Elite 5 HDI kits, um, fish finders, the uh, Helix 5, it's getting into that range, competing with that range of finders. And uh, I'm thinking these guys are going to do very well with this unit against that competition because this is a slick looking unit and it really functions quite well. Um, it really is high definition, um, giving you a really great look at the body of water that you're fishing. So um, it's going to be interesting to see. I think they're going to move a lot of these units. So you can give me a call if you have any more questions about this and our mounting systems. Our phone number, our toll-free no phone number is 1-855-784-3474. And check out our website, www.fishfindermounts, that's with an S on the end, fishfindermounts.com. And you can actually, um, you know, email us at sales at floattubefanatics.com, floattubefanatics.com sales at floatubefanatics.com and you can just you can also reach us that way and uh, yeah just give us a shout and pick up your mounting system today from us thanks for watching everyone